You know, George and Cindy Anthony haven't seen their daughter Casey in months. Their last jail visit was October 14th, long before Kaylee's body was found in December. And now their lawyer says they want to set up a special private video visit with Casey. What are the chances that will happen? Criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Mark Iglarsh is back, also forensic psychologist Brian Russell. I'm taking your calls at 1-877-TELL-HLN. So, Mark, what do you think? Do you think this is, the sheriff's office is going to allow them a special vi video visit? And then they don't want to—they want to make sure that they don't have it get to the public. I, I think it's yeah. Enough. They'll th th they'll let that happen just like they did the private funeral that she wanted at the jail. Absolutely not. They will bend over backwards to see that the image of impropriety is not there. They don't want to treat her any differently than any other inmate. Special request. Heck no, not for her. Now, you know, we've now also heard that, Kay, that uh, little, little Kaylee has been cremated. But where are her remains? Do, have we heard anything at all, Mark, about where the remains are? Absolutely no idea, but I thought about it today, and they obviously wouldn't have turned over the body unless they were done with all the forensic evidence that's been gathered. Right. That becomes a personal matter, has absolutely no impact on the case, no idea where the remains are. No, you know, but we, we talked before, there are so many whack jobs out there. We, we, they say that it's not at the Anthony house. They say it's not, we don't know if it's at the funeral home, you know, but uh, I mean, they, I know Casey wants to have a funeral service and, and a headstone and something at the cemetery. You know, we heard that the other day when it was all about me, all about Casey, as usual. But, right. uh, but you know, the remains, you know, there is, I, I guarantee you, though, there are, there are people out there, Dr. Russell, that would probably want to try to steal these remains. Absolutely. We saw them on the Anthony's lawn back in the summer, and I think that's why it's good that they have announced and that we are continuing to, to restate that they're not at the Anthony home. Uh, they're supposedly not going to even be uh, anywhere that's going to have markings uh, so that people can go out and make a circus out of that. Uh, and hopefully they, hopefully it won't turn into one as the memorial service. I I'm hopeful since that memorial yeah. service didn't turn into the circus that you and I have feared it might, that maybe these remains can be interred somewhere without that being a circus too. Right. You know, and it kind of restored my faith in, uh, in mankind the other day when it didn't turn into a circus and it was a very, very dignified celebration of a little girl whose life was cut short. Now, right. Mark, uh, you know, the private jail visit, I just want to ask you, uh, would it, uh, I don't think it'll happen at all, but if it did happen, do you think they would make any special accommodations? I don't think they would. L let me tell you why if they did, um, it wouldn't be outrageous. First, they'd have to say, look, we're not treating her differently, but this case is a little different. The world is watching. She really doesn't have any, any kind of um, uh, treatment like the others in that every single word is watched and scrutinized. And so if they're ever yeah. going to do anything differently, I can at least understand why in this case they would.